Hello friends this is physics intuitively and today we'll see how and why time stops at the speed of light According to the second postulate of special theory of relativity given by Sir Albert Einstein in the year 1905 the velocity of light in free space is same relative to any inertial frame of reference that is it is invariant of the transformation of one inertial frame to another and is equals to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is only possible for massless particles and this is a old friend photon and it says that my speed is invariant in all the frame of references as a consequence of second postulate of the theory if the faster an object moves relative to you the slower it clock appear to tick that means the fast moving objects objects clock appear to tick slower in reference frame of an observer at rest or it can be simply stated that the faster you travel in space the slower you travel in time okay the slower you travel in time so he says to his friend your clock is slower than mine because his friend is moving at a certain velocity v so according to all this we have discussed so far we can say that time is not absolute it's relative and it depends upon the the speed with which you are traveling so in one coordinate we can take the speed of time and the second coordinate is our speed and this moving and this delay in the clock in the moving clock is known as time dilation there there are various experimental verification for the same the first being that this fast moving muon decays much slower and that a moving light source have much lower frequency than a light source which is at rest moving source being red and the stationary being violet this can also be explained in terms of the photon clock experiment it is an einstein's thought experiment so what we see in this like a photon is being bounced off between two mirrors so here tick time equals two times the mirror separation two times the mirror separation into the speed of light that means it ticks once in one complete cycle so let us set the photon clock moving at the speed v so it is traveling a larger distance in this case with the same old speed c according to the second postulate that means tick time increases as our distance increases now let us imagine that the same photon clock is set moving at the velocity equal to the speed of light so what happens is in this case it has to travel an infinite distance and it is never able to chase the mirror so as v approaches c distance approaches infinity and tick time approaches infinity that means our clock is frozen so this clock says that i never tick that means i'm not ticking which is moving at the speed of light this can also be explained in terms of lorentz transformation which says that which says that t dash equals gamma times the tick time for the observer in moving frame of reference minus vx divided by c squared which is t dash equals 1 over 1 minus v square by c square 
into t times vx minus c squared. Up now, as v approaches c, the term in the denominator becomes zero, and that t dash become infinity, or the tick time become infinity. Again, we arrive at the same old result that the clock is frozen. So here, let's see what the clock have to say. The clock says to photon, "I have same speed as you have," and the photon says. But you are frozen. Then we get a reply. Yeah, it's chilling there. So the only way, the all we conclude is the only way to stay youthful is to move at the speed of light, which only a massless photon can do. At last, thank you for watching, and do give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.